Okay, so this is like a to the left side extra episode. Burr, burr, burr. That was like the weakest horn ever. But to just kind of talk about, you know, like P Valley, because folks definitely like hyped it up. I think it's it's an easy show to follow. I think that it can also double as good just background noise because it's not like if you miss an episode you're gonna be like super super lost but it's still they still did it in a way that you can still be like engaged and want to know what happened next but it's not like really a cliff hanger at the end of the season my favorite character is definitely mercedes love her so glad she swung on what's her um spoiler alert what's her mama name patrice patricia so glad that happened. I was like, bro, we just gonna have to break black rules and swing on your mama. Cause that lady was the worst. And I don't like folks that be out here trying to manipulate the word of God and hide it behind the cross while they throwing stones. I don't like that. So she got everything she deserved. And yeah, and then we still ain't get her last dance. Like Mercedes, I wanna see that because when she first went on the pole, she was smiling, she was like, hey, hey, and then she got that grit and I was like, oh, you better go, you better go. So hopefully, you know, she gets back on the pole next season. Um, Autumn Night, she kind of irritating. Um, I think it's more so because of what she did to Franklin and Snowfall. If y'all haven't watched Snowfall, catch up because they got another season coming. But I'm still not over what she did as another character. And I can't unsee her. So I'm just like, this is what you do now. You leave Cali and then you go to Houston and grow up. And then you come to the pint and then you just be out here doing whatever, dressed like a... Uh, Dang on crazy and love Beyonce extra. That's your strip outfit. You ain't got no other floss you can wear. Okay. Calm down. It's not that serious, Brian. Anyway. Yeah, so M I Crickle letter, crickle letter I. Crickle letter, crickle letter I. Hump back, hump back, I don't like her. Don't. That's what you do for diamond, like, bruh, for the culture. Like this, I hope. That something happens with that because I feel like there's a lot of messaging within it. It's like, it's kind of like, um, pose. Like, like, it's very, it, it's, it seems like a very authentic, even though it's dramatized representation, um, kind of like an intro into a world that you may, may have never seen. But there's also like lessons within it. So I hope that there's a positive lesson with Miss Mississippi because... I'm like, girl. And then Diamond Fine, like, he liked the Drake that we wish we had. Like, he just, he really started from the bottom now he's here, you feel me? And you really seem like he about it. But anyway, Uncle Clifton, again, let's go back to Pose. And he's very pray tellish but he's not a pray tell so it's gonna be just interesting to kind of see what he does i like his outfits though when he went to the cotton field that was that was cute okay that was real cute anyways all right who we got next gidget she just be crying and i feel like <laughs> the fact that rule 24.5 there ain't no crying in the pint and then Gidget is like the only white woman in there and she be crying. I just like, <sighs> oh, wait for it. Anyway, um, Lil Murder, I liked him since the beginning before I knew that he was, you know, dipping into back doors. <laughs> Okay, before I knew he was dipping in the back doors, just because when old buddy came, his friend came in and disrespected Autumn or whatever, he tried to chase after her and be like, hey, like, we didn't mean no disrespect. And he was trying to apologize on his behalf. And I was like, you can be, you know, you can be about whatever you're doing and still be courteous. Like, 
he trying to be true but he also like not trying to be like an a-hole i was like i really appreciate how courteous you are like you realize you're like hey this is this is her area this is her space so i'm gonna respect it but i'm still like a g and i really appreciated that um thoughts for next season you know i feel like this little bust down pimp that came and for autumn or whatever i definitely think that whoever he's affiliated with is gonna come looking for her and everybody gonna have to be strapped going into the next season um and that's the only reason i see that working out yeah our mate and then i don't know what's gonna happen with the church but if mercedes and her mom are like if she don't ever talk to her mom again i would be fine with that but you know we'll see but i feel like it's gonna be more violent i feel like it's gonna really be on some drug trafficking thing because oh buddy was still holding the drugs like when the police came we didn't see what happened to the trucks so maybe he'll go back to doing that even though it's not necessary but now they got like a body on them so Whew, i don't know y'all i don't know But I guess we'll find out next season with something telling me it's going to drop in like, hmm, it's going to be warm again and then it's going to drop. But in the meantime, watch Snowfall. And then if you want a really good show, Mandalorian is a good show that is not, nothing like, is nothing like uh p valley or snowfall but a similar show to that is pose but mandalorian is like a star wars spinoff and it's awesome and it's on disney plus so y'all should watch that other than that okay y'all well this was just my little bonus episode i just felt like i wanted to like talk about p valley just a little bit just because i don't be talking about the culture that often so there's that well, I guess I'll catch you guys on the flip-flop. Make sure to get your boots because this is boots season dishes and dishes and cool puppies and pits. So, yeah, make sure you get that. And I'll catch y'all on the flip-flop. Drip, drop, drop top. Peace.